I didn't see you there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Cudgel here, and today is a very special video. This is video number 100. This video is a video I've been working towards for the past four or five months, which might seem weird at first because as you watch this video, you'll see there's nothing really special about it. I'm not throwing some big party, I'm not doing anything real crazy, I'm just making a nice little video talking. That being said, for the past four or five months, I've been admittedly stressing, trying to make this build up to video number 100 good and special. I fretted so much over making really high quality videos these past couple of videos and working on massive projects. The biggest project I've been working on, I, I've been working on for four or five months now, and it's still not done. And the big goal was to have that recorded and uploaded before this video, because for the past couple videos, if you scroll down in the description, I've been numbering them at the bottom, starting with 97, 98, last video was 99, and now here's 100. And the goal was to have that big project I was working on for so long to be one of the build-up videos, episode 98 or 99 or something. And finally, pretty recently, I realized that I don't need to have this be super special. I admittedly have a problem with perfection and making things rhyme. I want things to be perfect and fit in a perfect pattern. I wanted these last couple videos before this video to be, you know, a normal video talking about a funny story. I wanted a video over a, a retro gaming thing. I wanted uh, a video not in a normal style like this to just kind of encapsulate all the different types of content I make. And it was kind of ridiculous. I stressed out for so many months just trying to make the build up to this video be so good. And I wanted it to be a big celebration of four years of, of work. My oldest public video was uploaded four years ago. A video titled Squirt Soda Review. The video was uploaded December 29th, 2018, and <laughs> I'm still proud of it. Is it a good video? I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if I can say a lot of my videos are even good videos, but everything I have on my channel I'm proud of. I'm proud over the past four years I have worked to the point where I am at now, where I am on video number 100. And I have to admit, the past couple months of stressing out over trying to make this perfect, this, this celebration of getting to video 100 was, well, it was a bit silly. Part of the reason why I don't have the most consistent upload schedule is I often stress myself out and fret over making things perfect. I can't make this video topic now because I'm going to do this now, and I'm going to wait to do that video topic until this thing happens so it aligns perfectly, and it just, it's silly. And so, with this video, I'm proud to just sit and talk. And I'm proud that the past couple videos, the build-up videos, video number 97, 98, 99, were just videos I wanted to make. They weren't really anything special. The big project I had planned, which I am still going to work on and I want to finish and upload, I'm still working on it, but I'm glad I didn't end up finishing that in time. I'm glad I didn't upload that, and I'm glad I'm not waiting any longer on that project. Episode 97 was just a video I uploaded while I was very, very sick, and honestly kind of forgot I recorded it until like a couple weeks later I remembered and I edited it and uploaded it. Episode 98 was just a normal video, just me covering a fun story. And admittedly, I did purposefully choose that to be episode 98. I wanted to have a nice normal video in the build-up videos, and so that one, that one was somewhat planned out, but it's also nice because there's nothing particularly special about it. It's just a normal video. The only build-up video that could even been, be in any way considered special is episode 99. But that video wasn't even planned out at all. That video was just a reaction to the news that had just come out when I made that video, that Susan Washkiki was stepping down as CEO of YouTube. And that really was just the perfect full circle story for me to cover. And I thank God that that happened right when it did because that made a really good episode 99, I think. And I think other people thought so too. That video did really well for my channel. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful and happy for that. But overall, I'm very happy to have made it to video number 100. This YouTube channel has been something I have enjoyed making videos for for a very long time. Working on videos for this channel has helped get me through a lot of rough moments the past four years. And while there have been moments where 
I felt disheartened and or I admittedly even questioned if I want to keep making videos. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm on video 100 and I thank God that that it's all turned out the way it has. And I look forward to making more videos in the future because this is video 100. And that's, that's a big number, that's a big milestone for me. But at the end of the day, this is just another video. And I want to make many, many more videos after this. I have so thoroughly enjoyed my experience on YouTube and I just want to keep doing it. And <laughs> I also want to get better about not being such a perfectionist about things and not worrying myself for months over getting things perfect. Because while I'm happy with the way everything has ultimately turned out with this hundredth video and the build up to it, I do also have to think, had I not even realized I was approaching video number 100, there probably would have been a lot more videos out by now. I probably would have hit video 100 months ago if I just hadn't done anything special. And so while I'm very happy with the way this has all turned out, I do think from now on I'm going to try and not be such a perfectionist and just obsess over making things rhyme. It's like a poetry. It rhymes. Put that clip. Again, it's like poetry. It's sort of they rhyme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every stanza kind of rhymes with the last one. And not be so obsessed with making things special and making things perfect. Because if there's anything my channel is not, it's perfect. I have lots of videos on here that I don't think are amazing, but I am proud of each and every one of them. And so, for this hundredth video, I want to go back and rewatch the first video. Squirt Soda Review. Oh, I didn't see you there. I have always loved the cheesy opening of... Oh, I didn't see you there. It's just such a cheesy and fun opening to a video or a movie or anything. As for the whole uh, uh, end of a recorder thing, that was, that was just what I had lying around. In fact, somewhere over here in my mess, oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, sure enough, here's the original recorder right here. It's been sitting there for literally probably four years. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this recorder was a bit of an inside joke, like I might have brought this to school and messed around with it or something, and that's why I started the video that way. Either that, or I just found it right then and was like, you know what, that'd be a funny way to start this. But either way. How are you doing? Okay, Dad. <laughs> I love the horrible cowlick I have in the back of my hair in that video. I also love how my hair happens to be about the same length as it was in this. I must have just gotten a haircut right before this video, just like happened with this video right here. Now recently I uh, picked up a uh, soft drink known as Squirt. Now I, uh, you might have heard of Squirt, uh, you know the young people are always talking about how they love to squirt. Uh, now I, I, I've never actually tried Squirt before, you know, uh, I have heard a lot of people say oh, they just want to squirt everywhere, you know? But, I can see why people want to squirt so bad. No, no. Okay, I'll I'll say what that that is a good joke. It was a painfully built up, but I can see why people want to squirt so bad. And I suppose I should give the background behind the scenes of why I decided to make this video. I had just gotten this set built. And uh, I'm pretty sure that day at school, or uh, maybe right before that, me and some friends were uh, joking about squirt soda. And I just decided, you know what? That'd be a funny video to review squirt soda. So I walked to my local gas station next to my house, and I bought a bottle of squirt soda. And I came and sat down and recorded the first Nathan Cudgel video. Totally impromptu, no planning at all, which I suppose is some nice symmetry in that back then I had the right idea of, oh, I'll just sit down and record whatever video I want. Whereas the past couple months I've been so stressing out over making this build up so special. But regardless of that irony, now we're here and I'm impromptu reacting to Squirt Soda. I'm going to be honest, when I sat down to record this hundredth video, I did not expect to react to this. It just seemed like a good idea while I was recording and now we're doing it. Not sure if you can tell, but the, but the drink itself is a... Uh... Quite a kind of pale, white color. Can't imagine where they got the idea for that from. And as you see, Squirt itself is a, uh, see it says right there, it's a uh, thirst quencher. 
Uh, I know I for sure want to drink up all the squirt I can get. I just want to chug up all, all of the I love that, uh, that transition right there. Let me just go back one second. All, all of the now the Can you imagine if to this day, whenever I change topics or anything, that was the transition? Forget me always saying, regardless. No, 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 the transition was instead, that would get so horribly, horribly annoying. The actual backstory behind Squirt is actually quite interesting. Uh, for, for some reason, whenever I look up Squirt, it says explicit results are filtered. I, I don't know why. That's pretty weird. Although Squirt, the actual history of it, you see, it was created by Herb Bishop in 1938. Fun little fact for all you Squirt lovers out there. In 1941, they had a mascot called Little Squirt. Fun little fact for all you Squirt lovers out there. I want that to be my nickname. You know why it's funny because i only ever did it in this video the transition with the recorder but if i kept that going that would have been the most annoying thing ever i really do just absolutely love drinking all the squirt i can get though i think everyone out there should just squirt all they can just squirt everyone i can't tell you how much i love squirting i can't tell you how much i love squirting no i think i think everyone should squirt I think squirt should just be drinking everywhere. Funeral homes. Squirt should be served around. I miss him so much. Time to drink my squirt. Squirt. Which, that part right there, I came up with that joke while recording the video of, of like someone crying in a funeral and then drinking squirt, but I didn't have any tissues or anything around me. All I had was like a crinkled up wrapper of, I can't even tell what that is. I think those are like cheese crackers or something. So I just used that as a tissue. And it, it kind of partially ruins the joke because I think a lot of people see that and don't even get it at first. Like, why is he holding a wrapper? I, I, I don't know. It'd be funny if I still had that wrapper somewhere. Is it, is it over here too? The recorder was, so maybe. The word itself really is just a, a wonderful thing. You know, I, I thought that was going to be such a funny joke to put the recorder on my middle finger and just be flicking off the audience right there. But then when I zoomed in the footage and, and you know, cropped it to be just me, that mostly got cut out. So you can't even tell unless it's like on a rewatch rewatch that, oh yeah, he's flicking off the camera right there. Just walk into the store and the first thing I scream is I want to squirt everywhere. That joke, that joke was forced. 2018, eighth grade Nathan Cudgel. Listen, the other ones were all right. You know, it's even a little bit funny of talk about wanting to squirt so bad, but but that one was a little forced. Whenever I walk into a grocery store, I just yell, I want to squirt everywhere. That one, that, just, you nearly had it. You nearly had it. Like a little kindergartner. Hey, kid, you want to squirt? I just... <clears throat> that was just bad. That was just cringe. That made me physically cringe. And that voice I do right there was like a voice I used to use so much in, in my middle school. Hey, hey, kid. Hey, hey. I can't do it as good right now because I haven't practiced, but I, that, I used to speak in that voice a lot to say just gross things as a joke. And I find it funny that in my very first Nathan Cudgel video, I'm, I'm using that middle school old inside joke. I just have to tell you how much I absolutely adore squirting. Daily uploads coming soon. Keep squirting. I should end every video like that. Daily uploads coming soon. Keep squirting. Which I love how even all the way back then <laughs> I was promising daily uploads and absolutely failing to keep up with it. That is a full, full circle moment right there. All the way back then, I was saying daily uploads were going to be a thing, and they just really never were. But, uh, yeah. That was the first Nathan Cudgel video, and here's the hundredth. I certainly hope I've gotten better. <whistles> but anyways, thank you so much, the people who have been here for all hundred videos. Some of you have been here even longer than those you've been watching this channel back when it was under completely different names, with completely different content, with an even younger version of me than this. But thank you to everyone who has stuck around for 100 videos, everyone who has subscribed in the meantime, I, I thank you. 
I'm going to put on screen a couple of people who, who their names and who they are just stick out to me because they've been here for so long commenting and supporting me. And I'm sure there's more than just these. It has been four years and it's easy to forget, sadly. So I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has supported me and a really big thank you to the people on the screen now who have been here for a long time, have given me a lot of support, and just people who have been, been here. I love making YouTube videos. It makes me very happy. And I plan on continuing to make more. These people on screen and the people who have been here for so, so very long, you people have helped keep me going. There have been disheartening moments and moments where I have thought about quitting and support from all of you people really has helped me keep going. Making videos has helped me get through a lot of rough moments the past four years and I, I just want to say thank you to the people who have watched these sometimes not the best videos and to the people who have commented and to, <laughs> to everyone. Thank you for helping me get to video number 100. And I promise there will be more videos after 100. I love making YouTube videos. It lets out a creative energy inside of me that <laughs> I need to function. If I don't make videos for a while, I do legitimately get depressed sometimes because there's just something about letting out that creative energy that I just need to do. And YouTube videos are just a great way to let that out. I love making these videos I love working on this channel, and I just love YouTube. So, uh, yeah, that's video number 100. It has been a long road to get here, but I'm happy I'm here. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, later.